We are back in the kitchen trying to get more vegetables on your plate. So, highlighting kale today. Now, kale will be a Wyoming favorite. It grows well here, it's super nutritious, and it's very, very good. So what we're gonna do today is make a healthy snack, something that's quick, easy, your teens can do it. I mean, you could probably do it blind blindfolded. <laughs> so what you do is you start off with some really simple ingredients and some really simple tools. As long as you have an oven, you're probably set and good to go. So, of course we need our kale. And today we are going to season them with soy sauce, lemon, and olive oil. And of course, something to put in the oven like a cookie sheet. Now, what you do is you, you take the kale and you're going to strip the leafy green off of this rib. This rib is, would not be that palatable to, to eat baked in the oven, okay, at a, at a low temperature. So you just take it and you glide, that can happen. You glide or you can, you can glide your finger over it or you can rip off the green. From, from the rib. Now what you're going to do is make sure those pieces are kind of torn into chunks. Something that resembles a chip. And you take your oil, dress it up a smidge. I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. There's no need to put salt if you're using soy sauce. It's got plenty of sodium, plenty of flavor. You don't need to go beyond that. What I will do because I, I think it tastes kind of nice, is drizzle a little bit of lemon juice on there. Toss it around a bit. You, at this point, you could taste it um, and make sure it's seasoned quite right. That's actually a really smart idea. So once we have that going, we can set our pieces on our cookie sheet, keeping them um, far enough apart so they're not overlapping. Remember, we're trying to dry out these pieces. Having them stacked doesn't help out that process. Fit in as much as you can. And now, we are going to pop them in the oven. I've set my oven at 300 degrees. This guy tends to run hot, so that's why I have it at 300. You can get away with 350. Um, the reason I like to keep it on the lower end is I don't want them to scorch. Once they scorch, not the best snack. Okay, so they've been popped in the oven. I will let them go for about five minutes and then I'll come in and check on them. It's been about 10 minutes. I've peeped in on them at five and they needed a little time. Let's see how they're doing now. Fantastic. You can see here that they're nice and brittle. That's what you're looking for. These are good. I really wish you could taste them. They are the perfect kale chip. Nice and dry, brittle, crunchy. Just store them up. You can either serve them out on the plate. If they haven't disappeared within the day, I would be shocked. If they're still there, you can put them in a tub and keep them on the shelf for about a week, a week to two weeks. Um, making sure they're still so crispy and taste nice, but I wouldn't go beyond two weeks. My name is Diane Sines. I'm with the University of Wyoming Extension, giving you some tips in the kitchen. <laughs> Trying to get vegetables on your plate. <laughs> getting you enthused about vegetables. <laughs> getting you, getting vegetables, helping, hoping <laughs> for, Hoping vegetables show up on your plate. <laughs> Eat your vegetables. <laughs> right? Okay, I'm done. <laughs>